Now, everybody who's watching, let's get RBT the 1 million subscribers by Christmas. He's the best Madden scientist there is. I subscribe to him. And if you don't subscribe to, your favorite team is going to lose to the I'm not saying that team. You might be asking RBT, why are you wearing the same shirt for two straight days? And that's a very valid question, but I do have to say, because I own a washing machine. And no, I'm no longer naked. So now we can get straight into the point. Yes, I have a very strong feeling that Madden 21 is going to be one of the best Maddens of our generation. I believe it is going to blow Madden 20 out of the water. And today, me, myself, and I, the Madden scientist, we are going to tell you why. Now, being the professional scientist that I truly am, I have my hypothesis right here. 10 reasons why Madden 21 will be at least 15 times better than Madden 20. After this intro, you're no longer going to see my face. Why? Because it's freaking 9.30 a.m. I don't like these lights being on. And scientists can do whatever the heck they want to do. And for the rest of the video, you'll see me trying to get the first ever 94 rated mutt draft. But before that, I do want to announce, and I'll be bringing it up almost every single video from now on. I am going to be doing a massive Madden 21 giveaway, just like I do every year. But this year, we have more at stake. I'm going to give away at least two copies on PlayStation 4 and two more copies on Xbox One. But if we can hit 600,000 subscribers by the launch of Madden 21, I will make that five copies on Xbox One and five copies on PlayStation 4. An extra six total copies that will be given away to you guys who are only eligible to my subscribers. That's if and only if we do hit 600k by the launch of Madden 21. So make sure to take that millisecond that it does take to click that subscription button if you have it. Turn that notification bell on if you have not as well. And another reason I don't want to show my face the rest of the video. Like, look at, look at this bed head. Like, that's an absolute stinker. Like, I don't know if I'm bald or, like, it's just a stinker. Reason number one Madden 21 has the potential to be the best Madden of our generation is because this is the first time in the history of the Madden franchise that we get to play in high school. At the start of face of the franchise this year, in high school, as a quarterback, have a chance to lead your team to a state championship. The last time we saw this in the EA game was back in NCAA football Road to Glory. So basically, like, kind of what we're getting is a semi-shortened like version of the NCAA Road to Glory. And instead of playing college for the four years, you get to play your entire NFL career. But we actually get to play in high school the first time ever in Madden history. Face of the franchise, we're actually getting a lot more news on that tomorrow. So maybe should have waited another day to make this video, but I ah, screw it. But still, just the idea of playing high school football is going to be so much freaking fun. Reason number two, the addition of customizable Zoom zone drops this year in Madden 21 gameplay. Now, if you guys are a hardcore Madden fan, you might not know what this means, but have you ever played defense on Madden and there was this one route that you could never stop no matter what coverage that you did call, no matter if your players were supposed to be covering the part of the field that was supposed to stop that route, well, this should be able to fix every bit of that because you're actually going to be able to customize the depth of all your zones and all your coverages. So this should eliminate the abuse of somebody calling the same exact play over and over and over again with you not being able to stop it whatsoever because we all know there's a lot of times that you call a defense that should be able to stop a play. Everything's set up to stop the play, but it just doesn't because Madden's just freaking stupid. Well, finally, thank God the developers have added this in. It's going to be an in-game adjustment. You'll be able to adjust your zones however you want them to play, where you want them to play, how deep you want them to play. So this is just another step forward into finally fixing what I believe is the number one gameplay issue in Madden and what kind of keeps a lot of people from playing and enjoying the game is the spam of the same plays over and over again. I'm tired of the uh, like constant abuse of some people saying, well, if you didn't suck at the game, you should be able to stop it. Well, no, dude. It should be able to stop it because I tell them to stop it and they don't. Like, you guys know what I'm saying? So this is finally a custom tactic, custom in-game tactic at that, that we're going to be able to adjust to make the gameplay more how we want it to play and just more fun in general. Number three, I think this is a very vague answer and reason, but at the same time, it's just true, is the fact that this game being on next gen means we're going to have so much more potential in terms of graphics, updates, gameplay, etc, etc. There has been a few teasers that we are going to see some new features on Madden 21 on the next gen compared to it being on 
like current gen so whenever you do buy Madden 21 or get Madden 21 on the next gen console you might be able to have a few new features and what you got to play on the regular current gen console Madden 21. Number four back to face of the franchise the simple fact that we finally have a career mode that we can convert to running back or wide receiver. We have always been wanting back the superstar mode from back in Madden 08, Madden 09. We finally got it back sort of in face of the franchise, actually a little bit more in depth than what the superstar mode used to be. But the problem is you were not able to play any other position but quarterback. The last time we had any type of football game, any type of career mode that we could play anything other than a quarterback. I mean, obviously you can play like your simple like connected franchise player, but that's just stupid. That like an actual in-game story mode was instant play Road to Glory where you could play, play any position. Now, unfortunately, you can't play any positions on defense but finally we are getting improvements the number five is strictly in comparison to Madden 20 the fact that this year the run is finally going to be balanced it's a big point of emphasis that the developers have came out and already stated that the run game is going to be way more balanced than last year once again I'll bring this point up a million times if I have to you watch the last Madden professional tournament of the year the winner of the tournament that won tens of thousands of dollars literally did not throw the ball one time he had a punter at quarterback. That shows you how unbalanced and unenjoyable this game was. The meta in this year's game was run the ball, halfback dive, halfback stretch every single play. If you didn't, if you threw the football, you are putting yourself at a disadvantage. In terms, was just making the game so stale and so enjoyable for 99.9% .9 of the population. 99% of the population wants to play a football game how they would play a football game in real life. And next, the X Factor abilities and Superstar abilities are back and going to be better than ever before. I mentioned it before, I think the X Factor and Superstar abilities are the best things that have ever been added to Madden gameplay to make things more fun and enjoyable. And they're better this year. They're going to be more balanced. That was the main complaint last year. Was the fact that a lot of them were unbalanced. And that is true. But the fact that it's a whole new year. A whole new generation of consoles. A whole year of Madden being able to take our feedback and see on what we want different in terms of the abilities. I saw a little sneak peek somewhere that said there's over 50 new abilities added to Madden 21 this year. So they're going to be better. They're going to be balanced. And it's just going to make the game that much more fun. And once again, for reason number seven, kind of piggybacking off the whole entire next gen type of idea. We've already seen confirmation that when Madden 21 comes out on the next gen, that for the first time ever, they're going to be able to constantly update players in game. Rather it be new animations, it's not even just their player ratings. It'll literally be like live updates all the time to make the players reflect their real life selves more in the game than ever before. It's not going to be like in the past where it was simply just every week the ratings were updated a little bit. No, for the first time ever, they've admitted the technology on the next gen is completely different. They're actually going to be able to live update players and that just once again is going to, it's just something that we've never seen in the Madden before. Number eight, the simple quarterback and passing improvements in general. Another reason the passing game sucked so bad last year is how slow a lot of the quarterback releases were. You can never throw out of sacks. I mean, you'd see real life football. Quarterbacks throw out of sacks all the time, throw the ball away. They can still get passes off when they're getting sacked. But that's never been the case in Madden, unless like last year specifically, there was a few abilities that allowed that to happen. But no, you weren't able to. And the amount of times that you went to go click a button to throw the ball away or throw it to a receiver, but you couldn't because you were about to get sacked. That or if your quarterback was still in a play action animation or he was just doing something other than like looking downfield. It's just so annoying going to throw to an open receiver, but your quarterback just not doing it because he's either about to get sacked or he's already in an animation. Well, this year, you can literally pretty much throw the ball whenever you want to. Your quarterback can break out of animations. He can throw the ball right before he gets sacked. And even this year, while you're like getting hit, depending on the angle you're hit at relative to your just forearm or your shoulder, you'll even still be able to throw the ball downfield while you're getting sacked. Yeah, it'll be obviously inaccurate sometimes, depending on what your ratings are and how hard or where you're getting hit at. But just the fact this year that we're literally going to be able to get the ball off instead of getting sacked at the freaking play. Number nine and last bit of face of the franchise stuff. The fact that this year we simply get to play more than one year of the college football playoffs. We get to play two. Just the more in-depth and more stuff we get to do in face of the franchise is going to make this game better as a whole. The fact that we get to go from high school to college. Last year, it was really you just started in college and you could only play one year of the college football playoffs. This year, 
thank God we get an extra year of college football means a whole extra year of in-depth cutscenes, different scenarios. Now, once again, Face of the Franchise news and Franchise in general news is supposed to be coming out tomorrow, so we'll be back making videos on that, and that could probably, like, completely just annihilate this video in general. Like, if Franchise comes out and it's just gonna suck and there's nothing new, maybe that will make this game a little bit worse, but right now, I'm just trying my best to stay positive. No point being negative. I was being negative after I saw the first gameplay trailer. I mean, like I've always told you guys, I'll call it how I see it at first. I thought the game just did not look good, thought it was going to suck. But with everything that has come out the past week or so, that's why I'm making a video like this because I'm actually excited pretty much for like the first time ever for a new Madden game. But the 10th and final reason, and this one is kind of a personal opinion, but at the same time, it's not because with all the information that has been released, there's no way this is not going to happen. And that is more variety in play calling. That has always been like the number one negative connotation when it comes to Madden is the fact that rather you're watching it or playing it, people will only call this like same two or three plays both offensively and defensively the entire time. Well, with some of the steps they are taking in terms of adaptive AI, the zone drops, the run balancing, I believe this year you're finally going to see a more variety of plays, which in turn is going to make it more fun to play and more fun to watch. Because who enjoys calling the same two plays the entire time you're playing? Who enjoys playing against somebody that runs the ball every single play, halfback dive, halfback stretch? Who enjoys watching uh, your opponent run the ball with Lamar Jackson 50 times a game? It's not fun. And with every step they're taking this year, I believe this is going to be the most variety we see in terms of play calling ever in the Madden franchise. And I believe that is the one thing that is holding this game back in terms of gameplay, enjoyability, and just more people coming onto this game in general. And the more variety we get in terms of play calling, the more fun this game is going to be. And at the end of the day, it's a freaking video game. Like at the end of the day, dudes, I just really hope this game isn't a stinker.